You know they said that the the Phantom and the Death Squad was responsible for the disappearance of a lot of young men from since 2000, probably let's go 2001, 2 and, and onwards. What can you say about that? Disappearance. Some, some, of the, some of the bodies we haven't even found. Now, there's one thing as saying the PPP had no affiliation with the Phantom Squad. There's another thing that's saying that the Phantom Squad didn't exist. I know boss. Because I played a role. Yes, eh? I used to do my little coat and all them thing now. Yes, I got a background in this country. Interested one, Dr. Hines. Vice President Barry Jagdio has announced that the government intends to launch a commission of inquiry into the crime wave that rocked the nation in the early 2000s. Well, Dr. Hines, my, my answer to that very quickly, they need to start in Pradoville. We go back um, to the days of the Phantom and the, and the Death Squad. You said to me that there the, the was a Phantom and there was a Death Squad. What is the difference between the Phantom and the Death Squad? President Granger wanted to hold, wanted to hold an inquiry. The PPP said no, they don't want no inquiry from 2002. Um, the troublers. They want it to go back to the 1960s to the Burnham years. And so the inquiry never came off. Now the white people say, you must hold an inquiry. And the box against the wall, they decide that they are going to hold an inquiry. The difference is one is led, one was led by a senior business, um, what do you call it? Um, we would call him a businessman, and the same one was led by a minister of the, what do you call it, the PPP. He and Dr. Luncheon did some things that the whole secret and Dr. Luncheon carried them things to the grave. But he's still alive. He's still alive. And we want to know. I know for sure, and I can tell you, Hafa, one had more power than one. Which one had the more power? The one who had the more power is the one that led by the businessman. Come many times when, many times when anything happened on the road, you would find these people more up front. In this case, if we're talking about the 2000s, Dr. Hines, the right thing to do would be to have the opposition do the selection this time around. Of the past <coughs> members now of the Phantom and the Death Squad. Really now. Most of them that I know is still on the road. Most of them I know is still on the road. Are they still serving in the police force? They have um Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. What is it in it for me? If I cry your way down back then, what is in it for me? Just sitting on the media or sitting on the thing saying I know this and I know that. What is in it for me? Nothing. So, I don't know, Travis. As the startling revelations are coming to light by former member of the death squad, Sean Hines, it is now known that three deadly squads operated within the Guyana Police Force, the Black Clothes, the Phantom, and the Death Squads. But initially, as told by Hines, the Black Clothes squad was least deadly. Hines, in a fresh recording, revealed the difference between the Phantom and the Death Squad. We go back um, to the days of the Phantom and the, and the Death Squad. You said to me that there the, the was a Phantom and there was a Death Squad. What is the difference between the Phantom and the Death Squad? I think the difference, everybody knows, the, the smallest child, unless you want me to just probably call names, and I ain't prepared to call names now, but I would call names if I have to. What's the difference though between the two? The difference is one, is led, one was led by a senior businessman, um, what do you call him? Um, we would call him a businessman. And the same one was led by a minister of the, what do you call it, the PPP. Mm -hmm. That's the only different. And I know for sure, and I can tell you, one had more power than one. 
Which one had the more power? The one who had the more power is the one that led by the businessman. Because many times when, many times when anything happened upon the road, you would find these people more up front. And, in, and like I said, these people are known to the police. Although Heinz didn't say who that businessman is, it is no secret that the businessman spoken of is self-confessed drug lord Shahid Roger Khan, who is serving a lengthy prison sentence for drug trafficking. The Phantom and the Death Squads were responsible for the disappearance and murder of well over 200 Guyanese. Heinz apparently knows who killed who and where those bodies are buried, but... I don't know. I don't know who we got. I don't know. You know they said that the, the Phantom and the Death Squad was responsible for the disappearance of a lot of young men from since 2000, probably let's go 2001, 2 and, and onwards. What can you say about that? Disappearance. Okay. Some, some, of the, some of the bodies we haven't even found. I think, like, I'm glad you mentioned that, like I heard earlier that someone said, I led you to some place or somewhere, somebody. So I haven't even started talking yet. But like I said, what is in it for me? If the National Security, uh, um, was it Minister? State. Is going to say, Minister of State is going to say publicly, honesty won't be granted to me. So what do you think I should do? We don't want to solve crime. We don't want to hear what happened back there. We don't want to hear who's involved. We don't want to hear nothing. I we want to. We, we, no, 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 no. They don't want to. Not, not, I'm not speaking. I'm not saying that if I, I'm not saying that if I'm involved in something, or I can tell you about something and I'm involved that I'm not prepared to stand whatever it is. If I'm, you know, what I'm talking about that I might implicate myself. I'm not telling you that I'm not prepared to stand the thing, but then it looked like me alone is be going me alone will be going down Heinz said that he decided to come out with his knowledge because he is tired of going to jail for crimes he did not commit he said that he had put down the gun a while now but what's startling to him is that there's still members of the force who were part of the death squads and who are responsible for mass murders and robberies really where are the past <coughs> members now of the Phantom and the death squad, really not. Most of them that I know is still on the road. Most of them I know is still on the road. Are they still serving in the police force? They have, um, yeah, they got one that, that I probably could, at the moment, that, I mean, I ain't, I ain't go in doing any um, thing, but as far as memory could carry me at this stage, yes, they do have one right now. Servant, very. He might not be at the police force, mm -hmm. but he's, he's he's still in in in, in the um, in the domain in the uh, we call it in the actual thing. But he's not at the police force. As I said like your headquarters. Mm -hmm. you know, but he's there. Interested one, Dr. Hines, Vice President Barry Jagdio has announced that the government intends to launch a commission of inquiry into the crime wave that robbed the nation in the early 2000s. Well, Dr. Hines, my, my answer to that very quickly, they need to start in Pradoville. That's where go. why it needs to start, right in Pradoville. If we're gonna talk about that, it starts right there. But, it starts and ends right there. Yeah, but, but Mark, um, uh, Wayne, sorry, Mark is sick. Um, when there is a, this is a breakthrough for um, those of us who've been arguing President Granger wanted to hold wanted to hold an inquiry. The PPP said no, they don't want no inquiry from 2002. Um, mm -hmm. The troubles they want it to go back to the 1960s to the Burnham years, and so the inquiry never came off. Now the white people say you must hold an inquiry, and the box against the wall. They decide that they are going to hold an inquiry. Now. We all, we grew up knowing that when white people talk, a lot of times our leaders respond to them than they respond to the old people. All right? We understand that. But we have to be pragmatic and pick it up from where you left off. That while I hear Gerald, I'm also saying that when our interests coincide with the white people's interests, we take it. 
Eh? Because that's what they do. They deal with us when their interests coincide with us. I think in this instance, the white people talk in real language. Three years ago, they weren't talking our language. Three years ago, they had to install the government. They are now redeeming themselves to some extent in that they are recognizing the mess that they helped to put us in. So this inquiry is going to be interesting because remember when Mr. Jack Dio, a few months ago when Dr. Lunchan died, said in relation to the crime wave, he and Dr. Lunchan did some things that they hold secret and Dr. Lunchan carry them things to the grave. But he's still alive. He is still alive. And we want to know what he knows. We also want the records. So this is going to be an interesting inquiry. Over to you. Dr. Hines, yes, I agree with you. It is going to be interesting. But one of the caveats is who are they going to select? As the commissioner. Who? Yes of this COI because we had the one in Madia, right? The PPPC, in this case, if we're talking about the 2000s, Dr. Hines, the right thing to do would be to have the opposition do the selection this time around. So Hines explained to me from the inside was really going on here was a phantom squad was the black clothes and was the death squad and what going on was the intricacies from back then from a person allegedly who was a part of the situation who was an actual part and an actual functionary in all of the chaos that was going on in them times there who was alive long enough to remember I know you remember just how traumatic them days was. You wake up today, this person dead. You wake up tomorrow, the person badly wounded. The next day, another slain somewhere else. Heinz is explaining to we the names of the functionaries, the people them involved in them thing, the ones them who making the cab move forward in that wheel. He telling we were going on. And Elaine, we know the names and the participants, the players, so that we know in this time, the ones who might be too young for understand, you could remember and you could come up to date with what's going on, right? So now we know it was a phantom, right? Guess what? The PPP government, the honorable members of the PPP, the vice president announced it in his press conference on Thursday that they're going to be doing an inquiry into it. They're going to get to the bottom of what's really going on. Who were the persons, the active members, the ones that play a part in taking so many brothers and sisters of the Sile out of here in a crazy way? Become members of their party too was taken out, you know. I don't know who remember the honorable Saturday Osa and him and his family and how they were butchered and how they were treated like animals when they came in for them that day. Crazy, right? Allegedly, persons know what went down there and allegedly, they're getting to the bottom of all of that. Who was the players? We want to know. Who was responsible for all of them blood depth on the street, buddy? Who was funding Fraser, RoboCop, and all of them people there? And guess what? People coming out and telling you, hey, I was a part of it. I know what's going on. And they already tell. They guess who they tell? The president. They think Ali can play around with them. They think that you could possibly, allegedly, I don't know, because guess what the information was presented and it was presented by the individual and they said it in their own words that they was a part of the phantom squad so if they investigate in the phantom squad who's one of the persons one of the first persons you might want to investigate not the person who say 
that they use to give them the information and know where they're going to go for boss who, who coconut. Can you want you coconut boss? And if they know who coconut get him boss and where the coconut get him boss, how comes they is not the first person to get investigated about what's going on with all these coconut? Because North Tree getting cut down. North Tree is getting cut down. And they know where the North boss in. And they said they give the information. And look who they give it to. Let me hear directly from his mouth himself. Let me hear directly what the president heard. Let's get into that right now. But Dr. Ali, this is not to say that people have not been living in fear. People I, live in their houses, they're being killed. A young girl walking, but I wrote today, a cab pull up, pulled she in the car yesterday, rape she. A lady driving the car one in front seat with a gun. Yes, sir. I am asking what there is because you're saying here, we got to move away from the adversarial politics, right? But have you looked at, now, there's one thing as uh, saying the PPP had no affiliation with the Phantom Squad. There's another thing that's saying that the Phantom Squad didn't exist. I know, boss, because I played a role. Yes, eh? I used to do my look out and all them things. No, yes, I got a background in this country. She's ready. Stay ready. Mister. The ultimate male supplement. Men's total wellness formula. Packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. If the, not, you say don't wear fucking caps. Right? But if the shoe, if the shoe that fit you, says lad, you should have laced it up and go live last. I don't wait for get drunk or come and talk about black people and coolie people and this and that and all kind of scunt on your morning live. Whole morning you calling me name. 